हाँ स्टूडेंट्स सो नौ लेट सी द डेटा मैनिपुलेशन लांग्वेज कमेंट सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऐ एक्सप्लेन अबउट द डेटा डेफिनेशन लांग्वेज नौ लेट सी इज डी एम एल कमेंट्स द डेटा मैनिपुलेशन कमेंट्स आर् सेलेक्ट इनसर्ट अट डीट लुक ए टेबल so actually the select command is used to retrieve data from the database whatever the values that you entered in the data uh, table that uh, values will be retrieved by using the select command and insert command is used to insert data into a table just entering the values into the table update command is used to update existing data within a table whatever the data that is existing at present so that existing table data is going to be updated by using the update command and whereas a delete command is used to delete all records from table the space for the records remains okay so actually the where, whereas the truncate in data definition language and the delete in data manipulation language both are used to uh, delete remove the records from the table both are doing the same function okay just uh, they removes all the rows from the table and the main difference between the truncate and the delete is truncate command in data definition language used to remove all rows from the table and it cannot be roll back means you cannot once you deleted you there is no chance of uh, again roll backing the data means undo the data whereas in delete command if you remove all rows from the table and you can roll back you can undo the data even though you deleted you can undo just like your recycle bin so whenever you deleted the file the file that is present in recycle when whenever you go the uh, uh, you uh, entered into the recycle bin and if you undo that again the data will be appeared on your file your folder will be appeared so that is the difference between truncate means it cannot be roll back delete means it can be roll back now let us see some sql commands that is a uh, data manipulation commands the data manipulation commands are what are the manipulation commands select insert update delete so now if you want to uh, insert the value first you need to create a table so the create command is a uh, data definition language command create table student student number so the data type should be number because if you want to enter only the uh, number means it's better to take the data type number s name varkar and i am entering the marks m1 number let's say size 3 m2 number and size 3 m3 number so total how many fields i have taken here serial number 1 s name 2 m1 m2 m3 3 total 5 uh, columns are created so the table was created so after creating the table the first data manipulation language command was insert try to insert the values into the table insert into student table values or here two ways of inserting the values you want insert one by one you can go insert into student values just enter the number 1 name bhanu e name s name the marks are suppose let us take 76 89 and 90 one row was inserted otherwise you can insert like this insert into std values just give uh, serial number that is a student number that you have to give that ampersand ampersand student number ampersand s name
ampersand m1 ampersand m2 m3 okay enter now enter the values 2 name was priya marks 67 78 75 so here it is showing that old one and the new one again backslash try to enter one more row if you want to enter multiple rows just give the backslash so this time 3 hurry marks 90 87 59 so another row was created again if you want to create one more more black slash this time 4 ragu 59 70 69 80 okay so if you want to see how many rows are created and how your table looks like just type select is a data manipulation language command use it to retrieve the columns that are present in your table the select command is used to retrieve the columns so select if you want to see all the columns all the uh, data complete data in your table you need to press select star a star is complete data will be retrieved select star from which table student table one second only Bhanu was created because here it is showing the quoted string ok so in the insert command I didn't did you find the mistake here so it is showing one error that is a quoted string not properly terminated that's why the data is not entering in your table so what's the problem here in the why I'm writing the syntax here insert into student ampersand uh, as serial number for everything I have given a single code there but for m3 I didn't I missed the code so first you need to again write insert So if you miss that column there it doesn't show any error but while you are entering the values it is showing error code string not properly terminated that means as a single code you didn't properly terminated so that's why the values are not entered in the table only the one value which I entered previ previously that value only entered so just check either uh, did I enter correctly or not serial number serial name student number student name m1 m2 m3 ok now enter the values 2 Priya 57 78 90 so this time just see here no error no uh, error was there I didn't observe that error so no error was there the row was created again if you want to insert multiple rows just give the backslash enter 3 hurry 68 79 just create another row enter 4 okay if you want to see how many rows are created in our database table just use a select command select I want to retrieve all the rows in the table select star from std so see here whenever I enter select star from std the total I entered four rows with four serial numbers student name marks m1 m2 m3 okay so these are uh, commands used to uh, data manipulation commands insert select and small functions will be there if you want to just uh, do the average select 
average a which is the function name m1 from student table it's just do the average means m1 subject it will, it will take it add all the four uh, students m1 subject and gives the average or else if you want to count how many uh, students are there just use the command select count with the help of student name from m uh, student std so it's showing four why it is showing four because there are four students are there it's just count how many students are there by and another function select sum of m2 from student table so what this function means i want to just calculate the total not average total so just m2 subject for all students if i calculated m2 the total marks were 326 so here i want to explain how to use a select command the select command can use it to retrieve all the columns in the uh, table or it retrieves whatever the information you needed here i explained uh, i want to select the average marks in m1 i want to retrieve the uh, data that the average marks in m1 from the table student and i want to count retrieve the data how much how many students are there in the table means the data entered in the table that is a four they are by using the count function and the select sum of m2 from student just i added all the marks of relating to m2 and now let us see the delete command delete from student i am ensuring some condition if you want to delete you can delete right simply write delete uh, from student whenever you entered completely uh, table was deleted now i want to delete only the particular row delete from student if you want to delete only particular uh, call uh, row just mention the condition delete from student where student name is equal to banu one row was deleted if you want to check just give select select star from student so just difference uh, just see the difference select command is used to check how many rows are present in the column table and how many uh, how the structure of the table was changed means not uh, values that are present the rows the select is only retrieving the rows in the table whereas description is complete table description is going to be appeared dsc is a command which uh, the table description means whatever the fields that are present in the table the columns the columns are displayed by using the description select command is going to retrieve the rows in the table select star from std so here the one serial number was deleted because i deleted uh, that row by using the delete command delete from student where student name is equal to banu now i want to delete complete table delete from student just simply enter delete from student three rows are deleted means only three rows are present there so the three rows are deleted again you select command select star from student no rows are selected why no so no rows are selected because i deleted all the rows if you use the description it will be appeared description std the table description is there means the columns are present the stable structure was there but there is data is not there the data was deleted thank you